guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have a new foundation review. There are so many coming out and I just thought I would experiment and see which ones are really worth your money out there and which ones are not. Today's review is going to be on the new Guerlain Le Essential Foundation. This one claims to be a natural glow foundation, 16 hour wear with sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 20. So I'm going to try out this foundation and see how good it really is. Now with this foundation, what really intrigued me is, of course, it has a very cute bottle. It's quite unique. I have not seen this design before. It kind of looks like a little blob, <laughs> but it does come in a pump, which I love. It is a glass bottle. But other than that, what really intrigued me are the ingredients. Now looking at the description of this foundation on the Guerlain website, it claims to be a long wear liquid foundation with 97% naturally derived ingredients. Now of course this foundation does have some preservatives in there so it isn't absolutely natural and we will talk more about the ingredients. Now they claim that this foundation has buildable coverage and a natural glow finish, an innovative formula enriched with skincare benefits that hydrates and balances the skin to improve complexion over time. All good things, but let's see. Now Guerlain does say that this is a scented foundation. It has more of a musky woody fragrance. So if you guys do not like fragrance in your products, then definitely this foundation is not for you. The main ingredients that Guerlain are putting out there as the main skincare benefits are red algae and tara gum extracts. These allow the skin to breathe and help support skin's ability to defend against pollution. Now, okay, these are all great things, but when I looked at the ingredients on the side of the box, I noticed that lactobacillus is an ingredient that's included in this. Now, if you don't know what lactobacillus is, it is a gram positive anaerobic bacteria and it's used in a lot of probiotics. Now, as a pharmacist, this intrigued me so much. I really wanted to know why lactobacillus is present in a foundation. Now, when you're on antibiotics, I'm sure your doctor has told you eat more yogurt, take a probiotic, and I even really recommend it to my patients when they're on, on high doses of antibiotics, on antibiotics for a long period of time, or they're on multiple antibiotics at the same time. And what a probiotic does is it's for gut health. It keeps your gut healthy, especially when you're on antibiotics antibiotics, what happens is that antibiotic doesn't just kill the bad bacteria, it also kills the normal flora or the good bacteria in your gut. Essentially, when you're ingesting good bacteria in the form of a supplement like a probiotic or fermented products that include these good bacteria, like yogurt, what you're doing is you're taking back that health balance into your gut and you're balancing that normal flora to keep away those really pesky bad bacteria away from your gut. So we have a trillion bacteria all over us, on our skins, in our guts, and this is normal flora. This is absolutely normal. We need to have these bacteria to fend off for infections, just to keep our skin healthy, to keep our gut healthy. Now, when I researched online, I found that so many different beauty products are actually implementing this phenomena in products to apply onto the skin. Avino's moisturizing cream includes oats that act as a powerful prebiotic, feeding the skin's bacteria and encouraging a robust microbiome. This improves the skin's pH and barrier function. Another product on the market is this daily mist that includes a mix of 34 live probiotics. The thought process behind this product is instead of applying ceramide based creams to dry raw skin, we can use probiotics to tell the skin to make more of its own ceramides. There is also this mask by Elizabeth Arden that includes strains of lactobacillus, which the product claims to dial down inflammation to fend off infection. Now, the company also makes claims that the bacteria may prevent sun-induced wrinkles and turn off the enzymes that chew up collagen. So this is a very new idea. I am really interested to see how this foundation applies onto the skin and what it looks like. And it also claims that over time, this foundation will actually enhance your complexion, kind of reduce inflammation. Now, of course, whether or not this is evidence-based, I did not find any clinical trials out there that show these studies and show these claims to be true. But for what it's worth, I still am intrigued by this foundation. I'm intrigued by the formula itself. So let's see how this works. So I have zoomed you guys in. We are going to take one pump of this foundation. Let's see, this is new, so maybe two pumps. 
Now this definitely seems like a daytime type of foundation. It's not thick at all. And there is the foundation. It looks very glowy. It has a very natural type of feel. But I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. So I have the rest of my makeup on. I just got done filming another video for you guys. I'm really excited to show it to you. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I've had this foundation on now for about three hours and it's looking pretty good. It looks quite dewy. It definitely looks natural. So I would say that this foundation is more of a day type of foundation. It's not full coverage. You definitely can see your skin but I really like it I love that natural feel that it has but let's see I do have a long day ahead of me I will be editing today doing some chores around the house so let's see how this foundation holds up and I will do some check-ins it's now 7 30 p.m. I've had this foundation on for about nine hours and a half it's been a very low-key day I've just been editing just doing some chores around the house and this foundation actually looks pretty good it's a very natural type of foundation for sure it is quite sheer in coverage if you're looking for a full coverage foundation this would not be it it is long wearing but it's not full coverage by any means you can definitely see my skin right underneath especially around here um, it has started to kind of crumble around my nose area but that literally happens with every single foundation I have yet to find a foundation that does not do that and stays good all day long it's quite natural I do like it do I think it's worth the $60 absolutely not there are better foundations out there there are better natural foundations out there and there are definitely better high coverage foundations but for a day-to-day -day type of foundation I definitely don't mind it I do think it's quite nice I love the bottle it's very cute I really like the fact that it comes in a pump so I do appreciate when brands create their foundation with a pump this foundation does expire April of 21 so I just wanted to note that a lot of foundations don't actually have an expiry really put on there the way this one does. They do have kind of like a little jar with either a 6, 18 months, 24 months expiry date. This one specifically says that this foundation expires on that date. Now whether or not it clears the complexion or does anything skincare wise, I don't know yet. I would have to try this foundation for a while. So I think I'm going to try this foundation for the rest of the month and then maybe do another video for you guys kind of compiling everything that I've tried this month and letting you guys know what I think about them now there was a comment left on my previous Charlotte Tilbury review video this comment was left by Brittany Myers who recommends foundation.com which is a website that matches you to your foundation or the correct number of foundation based on the current foundations that you use I did use that website to match me to this foundation and I felt like it was a really good match. So I do recommend that website to you. Thank you so much, Brittany Myers. Shout out to you. Thanks for that comment. And that's it for my review of the new Girl On Foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was informative. And if you guys were thinking about purchasing this foundation, I hope it gave you an insight of what this foundation is like and if it is right for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, hit that like button and hit that notification button to get notified when I upload new videos. I will see you in my next video.